So today we're going to be talking about the new Descenders update and there's some crazy stuff coming such as new maps, a Red Bull Rampage type map and a bunch of other crazy stuff. Maybe even another Grand Tour. I'll talk about more about it in this video but if you do like this video and it's helpful please subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers that'd be really appreciated. So some of the things that we already know that are coming out are the new mod maps that are going to be coming to console and those mod maps are going to be Redwood Lakes and that one was made by Kamikaze Productions and another one being Mountain Bike paradise which was just released actually i'm going to talk about new stuff but let's just go there and see what they're like the redwood lakes was made by kamikaze productions we're going to check it out and talk about the update more so it starts off here you can see that there's actually settings for it there's foggy day sunset and night settings and it's very loud this map i cannot explain how loud it is so i'm going to turn off game volume for it i can't turn it off apparently okay i'm just going to mute my game like my full-on game okie dokie that's a bit better isn't it so one and two do nothing three four uh, I think fog settings, five, six, I believe are day settings, eight and nine are the night settings, now eight and nine are going to be very important for this video, so make sure you keep watching for those. So this map has one line and one secret line, one, and the actual secret line is pretty big, so we'll check that out soon. We're just going to ride around and talk about the new update. We're going to start off by talking about the new mod maps. As I said before, the new mod maps are going to be this map and Mountain Bike Paradise, which just came out like last week, so that's crazy to think that it's already going to be a console park. We actually already knew that Redwood Lakes was already going to be a console park in January but it never even came out and I was starting to get a little bit worried for it but it's going to be coming out this update I believe and if it's not I would say it's probably not going to be out on console. So apart from mod maps coming to console I would like to say that there's going to be a new grand tour but there most likely isn't and there's a reason why for later for that in the video. So it's not really a massive update this next one it's more of maps than anything which I know a lot of people like. There's, I don't think there's going to be any more gear. There's no, there's no more creator jerseys. That's for sure. But mod maps coming. These are the only two mod maps that are coming to console. They're pretty good parks. Mountain by Paradise is actually one of my favourite ones from this year. Top three definitely. It's got a lot of different lines. As and this map's not even that bad as well. It's very flowy. Um, can very much improve your skill as well. I would say. Come over here. You actually got this little tech area kind of thing. Pretty sick. You got a nice little drop down. And then look at this. Pretty sick. Jump up here. Over here, nice. I think, yeah, this is a wall ride. Very smooth. And that's one of the lines, and it's pretty sick, honestly. So to get to the secret area, you want to go into nighttime, and you want, and you can't do this without being in nighttime, by the way. And if you didn't see it already, there's actually a glass bridge over in a the distance there. So you want to set a marker about just before these jumps. So what you want to do is you want to try and avoid these jumps. Place a marker here, and you just want to drop down here. You can find like a little trail kind of thing. Now that we're here, as you can see, there's a sign, and it's called Twisted Roller. And this bridge only appears at night, so that's why you want to be in night. But when you get to the over the bridge, you can switch back today. Okay, so once you get over the bridge, chop down, don't do anything, and then you should be at the secret area. This secret area is kind of cool. It's a really fun trail. The only bad things about these two maps that I think could be better is these sounds of this map. This map is very loud, way too loud in my opinion. You can't control the level of the waterfall, which is really bad in my opinion, because you can turn down the sound effects volume in your game, but it won't control the waterfall as we saw before. So I really hope they change that when it comes to console, because I already know that heaps of people are going to be complaining about that. Now, is there going to be any new gear in the update? I actually don't think so. I reckon, again, this is going to be another update without any gear, and this is because they're actually working on a new game. This new game is supposedly a multi-sport game like Riders of Public, but with the Descenders controls, and I cannot wait for it. We actually aren't too sure if this game is going to be multi-sport, but with the release of Riders of Public, I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to do a multi-sport game. It seems like the best idea because if they're going to make a snowboard or skiing game they're going to get people saying oh steep's better and all that but if they make a multi-sport game i reckon they are going to beat riders of public and beat them so easily all the people that are going to be from that game are going to come over i reckon and it's going to be so good because we already know that the descenders controls are already 10 times better than riders of public controls okay so this little line actually got another tech section it's not too hard it's not too long as well all right you, you want to slow down I went way too fast. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the Twisted Roller line. That's all the secrets in the map. And it's not too big of a map, but it's actually a really clean map. The only thing I told you before is the waterfalls are really annoying. So 
fingers crossed they do change that for the update. Okay, let's go to the other mod park and we'll talk about the Red Bull Rampage map and there's heaps to go on about that. And let me tell you this, this map does not disappoint. This is going to be the new Stoker Bike Park. So this is Mountain Bike Paradise and like I said, it is huge, bunch of trails, a really good place to learn how to actually play Descenders as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to check out is this map and it actually gives you a really good idea of where all the stuff is and it's pretty nice. Then you've got all these teleporters, these teleporters send you wherever you want pretty much and we're gonna go to the main line so all right so this is hypersonic it's actually these jump trails are huge you guys are gonna love these when they come out of the console they are so easy to ride as well if you case one of the jumps it is so easy to get your speed back up not even trolling you can just send these jumps so massive Okay, so let's talk about the Red Bull Rampage type map. So this map is actually going to be, I reckon, the biggest map in Descenders, and this is why. So they've gotten six of the best map makers, including Arntgras, who has made several maps in the past, Zero, who's made Mount Slope, Rosie, who you all know, of course, who is a developer of the game and has made multiple maps. I believe Spay is in there as well. He's made multiple maps with the Rosie. He works for Rage Quid and it is nuts. And I think a couple others. But like I said, this map is going to be absolutely bonkers. So when the project was started, each map maker was given a little bit of land to work with and they got to make their own trail for this map. Meaning that for this map, there are going to be six trails, which is, I think that's the most we've ever gotten in a bike park, which is going to be awesome. Not only have these people made the map, but Rosie has gone through every single bit, decorating all of it, and it looks so good. Now, I've actually found some gameplay on Twitter for this map, and I'm going to put it on the screen now, and it's amazing. It looks so good, as you can see. It looks... it. I When I first saw it, I genuinely thought they were using a different engine for this map, because it looked insane. Now, this isn't actually going to be like a Red Bull Rampage type map. It's going to be Descender's own thing, so there's going to be no Red Bull in it, which is a little bit sad, because as you you can see we've got the Red Bull helmet, but it's all good. So like I said, this map's going to include six lines. It's going to be huge, big jumps, realistic areas. So, so each different map maker has different styles when it comes to their map and their trails. So each trail will feel different and that's going to be so cool to ride, I reckon. So you could say I'm probably the most excited for that map. I reckon it's going to be so sweet when it comes out. And I also do believe with that map, there's going to be competitions held. There could be a video competition, actual racing and trick competitions. I would definitely be contending in every single one there is so you guys can check them all out and now i'll be competing now one thing i actually really would like to see in the red bull rampage type map is to actually have leaderboards on the map i think for each trail there should be a time leaderboard where that would be so sick where every platform or even just xbox and pc would be able to see everyone and what their times are and you could search your name up or you could even press a button and it show you what placement you are so you could compare your scores to your friends and it would be so cool i reckon i think it'd be even cooler if if there actually was leaderboards there'd be podium spots for each one and then on the top of those podiums would be the person whose gear that they were recently wearing or when they got the time on that map what gear they were wearing i think that'd be sick okay so back to talking about this map is that this map is insane as you can see from the gameplay that i've been writing and talking about the red bull rampage map this map is crazy i haven't even been through half the lines yet it's nuts you still gotta go to the skate park which has some of the coolest features about it let me show you this line this line's also got a water volcano i'm not even joking holy moly that trick was huge let's try and do oppo no oh cork 1440 though Okay, but like I was saying, this is probably one of the best maps to come out this year, in my opinion. I reckon this is a very high possibility chance of winning mod map of the year. Come down here. You don't want to jump here. That's the mistake I always make is jumping there. You want to jump here, though. That's crucial. Okay, look at this one. Just wait for it. Holy moly. I think that's five front flips. Yeah, that's nuts. This map is huge. It has dirt jumps, a training area, so you can learn how to pump and jump on this map and control your bike easier. And it's just a really solid map, I would say. I've actually never gone to these teleporters. Middle... Oh, this is actually cool. So reality check, this was part of his old map. You got this really nice double here. So big. It actually used to be a step up there. Probably one of my favorite step ups in the game. I don't know how I just landed that, but I did. Come down, nice little drop down there, and you come to this huge hip. Oh, throwing it nice and big there. And then you got Psycho. This is probably the biggest jumps, jump line in the game, I would say. Whoa, you can get some big tricks on here. 
nice little hip double right there. Coming into a 360 late flat spin. Nice coming, and then you got this like bonk area where you can get some nice front taps, back taps. Really sick. Okay, so I'm not gonna go to the dirt jumps and training area, but we're gonna go to the skate park. This is probably the best area of the whole map. This has got two mega ramps, I would say. One's a resi, one's a wooden jump, and it's so cool. You've got this huge two quarters, which you can actually ride like a spine. These nice box jumps, quarters, banks, everything you could wish is in the skate park. Boxes, everything. Step ups, oh my gosh. There's even a nice little transfer here that you can do. I like to flat spin it. Going up and over. Really nice. Set you up perfectly for this jump. Over the box. Then you can hit the quarter. Super sweet. This is called the booster park. These are main. You don't want to jump in this area. You want to pump and uh, hold R2 or uh, RT, and you'll get these perfectly. You want to go left here. Go up and over. You don't remember. You don't want to jump because it will ruin up your flow. And then you're going to hit these boosters every time. Nice. Over the last one, and then you got this big double here and all the way over oh i'm not gonna make it that's a bit embarrassing but hey okay so if you actually go down here so if you ever set your marker in the wrong spot you can easily come down here go to the mega ramp go to the booster park and jump boxes or go to the airbag this is probably the coolest thing as you can already see the sign fall on your back on the airbag and see what happens let's do that this is insane this is probably one of the coolest things i've ever seen in a map you lay on your back or anywhere you get bounced. It's sick. It's actually sick. Now, a couple times it actually gone up, done a front flip Superman, jumped, and then landed it like that. And then another front flip out. So make it look like I actually land on my feet and then flip around again. It's pretty sick. Now, with a foam pit as well, you can go down it. Let's say you do a back flip and land halfway. You won't bounce as much, you'll just get stuck, and it's like an actual foam pit. But that is all the news I have on the new Descenders update, and now, for the release date, it's going to be releasing in around October, I believe. This could be delayed to November, but I have a strong feeling that we're going to see it in October, which is almost in one month. I would say late October, but it definitely could be released early October. It all depends whether on they finish this mountain bike paradise really quickly or really slowly, because it's a massive map, and they've got to test it on console. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Like I said, we're trying to hit 1K subscribers by the end of the month. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. Check out the TikTok, link in bio if you haven't seen me already. It'd be pretty cool if you go watch some videos. We just passed 100K, which I've really appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you guys another time.